Look at this one's Coach Reardon falling the win over Canfield. Coach, you guys down by four at halftime and you had trouble stopping the run in the first half. What adjustments did you make at halftime to stop the run in the second? Well, it, one of the issues in the first half, we, we, we had far too many, many penalties. Um, and that's something that we got to own and fix. Um, you know, on one of their drives, we had two or three penalties that gave them some free yardage and, and they're too good of a football team to do that. So um, that's one thing that we got to own. Um, you know, they're a really good football team. They, they, they converted on a fourth down with that fake punt. And, um, you know, we thought we had it defended and they got it by half a yard. And then, um, you know, we found a way to still get a stop on that drive. And, and, and that was huge for our kids to respond that way. And you guys had a number of big catches. Devontae Taylor, D.C. Yeah. Farrell on that last drive. How does it kind of sum up, you know, how the season's gone with how many weapons you guys have and how big were those plays for your team? Obviously, it was huge, but um, you know you, you expect your best players to make plays when, when it matters, and um, you know they're they're really good football players, and, and, and you know Jack made some key throws down the stretch, and Christian had some runs, and and all those things. But but that's what you expect out of your best players. Down the stretch in the fourth quarter, Christian will get stopped a little bit at the line, yeah. goal line in the middle of the field, but he punched two touchdowns in in short yard situation. So how how did he keep going and fight to get that extra yard because it was hard all night for him. Yeah, it, so first credit Canfield's defense. They're, they're a very good defense, and, um, you know, they're big and strong up front. And, um, it, it, you know, it was just one of those games we just have to keep keep grinding, and we did that, and finally good things happened towards the end. Yeah, Bill Angela next week. And Is that official? Officially, we're up by 29 in the fourth quarter, and you face them already this year. So how does that benefit in, uh, both teams going into that game? It, well, there's certainly a familiarity there, but um, – it, it, you know, I've been a part of games like that, and, and, and you never know what's going to happen. When you, when you play a good team twice in the season, uh, you know, you have to make adjustments. You have to come out get, come out, and, and do some, you know, have some different wrinkles. But, you know, they're a very capable football team, and, and uh, you know, we're able to beat them early in the year. And, um, you know, it, it's a situation where we can't relax. They're going to be very motivated, and, um, you know, I'm sure we're going to see a different team.